So what we're looking at here is an undocumented legacy feature that's available in Bryce 7.1 Pro. It's the Seafoam Easter Egg and I've only been able to find it thanks to uh, Graham Dretcher's careful note keeping. So thank you Graham. Right, to get this feature working now you need to be aware that it'll only run in low priority. If you select normal or high priority Bryce will crash. Right, the default infinite plane is not going to help us. We need to create a special infinite plane and to do that you go to the create water plane, hold down the control and the shift key together and that creates your special infinite water plane that's going to respond to the terrain height map. So I'll just lift my camera up and we'll bring in a terrain. So I create a terrain in the default grey material just by holding the control key down and clicking on the terrain and then I'll enlarge that terrain and then we should be able to see if I lift it up a bit and uh, move my camera around that the, the effects taken place. Right, well, you can see the render speed's quite slow now even though I'm doing a very basic scene but you probably saw from that um, brief little render there that the effect was starting to come in there. So this uh, foam effect that's occurring here is dependent on the height map of the terrain so if I modify the height map and reduce its resolution to a very low resolution then you'll see the more dramatically the effect although it's very crude at this resolution so you can see that it's based on the pixels that uh, form the height map up. I'll just go back to the higher resolution version so, so you can see now that uh, it's the same distance in terms of pixels but the effects a lot narrower uh, due to the resolution of the terrain. So that's how you control the effect and now if you want to get this effect working on an existing material uh, it works through the material channel of the infinite plane so select the infinite plane and then track down the material you want to use. So I'll use one of the default uh, materials that comes with Bryce so in turbulent and I want this swirling water material. Now if we just pick that out and apply it and then select an area you'll see that it's not really compatible straight away because instead of a light edge you're getting a dark edge and the reason for that is it's working uh, with the diffuse channel here and there's no diffusion to work the effect. If we turn the diffusion up as it is though the material will get too light so what you need to do is pop a very dark blue or could use black for example in the diffuse channel in this case and then we'll only have the bit of the, the effect appearing here where the where the edge is so that's the way to get the effect back again if uh, you want the effect to be brighter as I say because it's working through the diffuse channel in the Skylab in the Skylab you can increase the diffusion like so and then modify the terrain material or in everything else in your scene uh, t to the new light level so if you halve the diffuse value there that will restore the intensity of the light on the terrain but it'll increase the foam effect intensity there. Right, I can see on the infinite plane that the swirly effect is a bit um, too, too low resolution so I'll just increase the frequency of the swirling by uh, scaling the material there. Let's see, right, and then we'll, we'll go to the terrain and modify the material for this Let's see what we've got. We'll uh, go back to the shared materials are from uh, Bryce5.com. I'll pick out this uh, dry grass moss and stone. Let's see how that looks on my island. Okay, right. So I could probably do with some work on this, but as you can see, right, I'll just hit render here. It's uh, it's quite a slow job to do anything. So. On that basis, you probably be wise to uh, reduce the size of the render resolution there to help you preview what you're doing. But uh, probably the thing to do is build your scene and add the the water as the last thing. So just work with an ordinary water material and then lower lower the priority to low priority, then put your water plane in. And, uh, and that way you will, uh, you'll be able to develop your scene at, at high priority and then just for the final render if you want to get this effect in make the, the last changes, the last change being creating the special water plane remembering to hold the control and shift key down when clicking on the water plane icon there to create one that's going to respond to your train so there you go, that's the Seafoam Easter Egg